to get out of the house of anger, it's easy if if you know that there's a way out. And the way out meant education. Further yeah, education. and and also it meant pursuit. ignoring. It meant ignoring the poverty of the others. Yeah. Look, if you got a place at boarding school, it it, it meant that um, uh, for three terms of each year you'd be well fed, you'd uh, be staying uh, in good dormitories, you'd be okay. You you yourself, but the others, the younger ones would still be struggling out there. And it merely a hope that they would also learn the same way, that the only way to get out of that is um, it, very selfish. Yeah, very selfish. Maybe you were brought up in that tradition of uh, each man for himself. Maybe that's a product of that. that that's what the township was all about, you know, each man for himself. Uh, uh, the way we try to stick, oh, I don't know. I mean, for instance, oh, I don't know. So you had no hard feelings for your mother or your, and the other children that you choose for yourself. Um, you thought, I want to escape from this house of hunger, so I go on with further education, and I do not make the choice for, uh, let's say, picking a job as a teacher, so that I can. Do something like them. Well, for you, you see, it was quite clear that you had to look for yourself. And uh, well, no, uh, I'm not going to put you. I had been reading all these books from the rubbish dump, and I knew by that time I knew that there was another world out there. There was another world out there, and I wanted to break into it no. to escape the sordid poverty of the township. I'd already acquired the habit of reading heavily. I mean, someone would be That's a dark fighting. Uh, uh, and, and all that. You know, someone would be fighting out there. Yeah. I'll just simply be continue reading whatever I'd You're be reading. Early age, you mean? Yeah. Books, when I was in primary know. school, I, I was always yeah. reading, just to escape. For instance, I mean, even hunger. You know, actual physical hunger. If I picked up a, a detective novel, I was reading everything I could get. Detective novels, James Adley Chase, Mickey Spillaney, um, uh, Agatha Christie, this, that, or the other. Um, uh, you picked uh, that up from the... From, the from that rubbish dump, yeah, uh -huh. from the rubbish dump. There's no library for, uh, uh -huh. for the township, uh, and I think there still isn't one um, right now. Uh, so that kind of escape, start, escape started very early? Oh yeah, I can shut myself off. I can even read in a crowded bar. If I go in a bar and it's all crowded and shouting, shouting, but I've got my book and my drink there, yeah. Just never mind what noise is going on. It, I just shut it out. Um, I don't believe in working in total silence. Actually, actually, I hate working. I mean, working when there's just no no background noise. Um, it always makes me feel strange. That, oh shit! The silence becomes uh, a, 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 yeah. So I can't think. Would how, how did you go to university then? To, uh, was that I broke your, the record. I broke. Was that your own decision to go abroad? Was that no, 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 no. Uh, development. You wanted to break out of, let's say, the house of hunger, from your background and. You made a choice for yourself, and then you started thinking about going abroad or not. Or people, no, people said to you, "You're just no. such a bright boy. You must go abroad." No, education. no. You see, I was the first black student in the whole country to break the record for uh, at the A levels. You see, I did um, I did four subjects in form six at at A level, yeah. and I got A's, A's, A, 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 A. a in all my subjects in Form 6, and I won the top scholarship here, which was for any university in the world. And I refused to, um, I, I could have chosen then to go to any country at that point. But I said, no, I want to experience our university. Oh, what's going on, well, what's going on here? University the university here. Yeah. yeah, but my scholarship, I could have chosen any university um, outside this country. But why didn't you do that? No, I, I really wanted to Stay here. experience. No, to experience what was going on 
at our highest uh -huh. educational institution. Uh -huh. um, um, curiosity. No, not out of curiosity. I think by that time, I you see there have been demonstrations and arrests. Lecturers have been deported, especially um, Professor Terence Ranger. Um, he had been uh, doing a kind of Martin Luther style uh, campaign here against discrimination in town here. And um, some of the lecturers had also been hiding um, arms and ammunition for the guerrillas on the university campus. And they'd been uh, deported, and one of them had been put in jail for 11 years. Um, and, and some students had also, had also been uh, arrested and so on and so on. And they wanted to become part of the national uh, struggle, whatever was going on here. As soon as I got there, you see, uh, that's when I really got involved in, in the politics of, at the university, which led to my expulsion in 1973. But um, in, in, what from the in what department did you study? That? I was studying the Bachelor of Arts uh, English Honours. I was studying English Honours. Yeah. 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 English Honours. It merely means English uh, Language and Literature yeah. alone. Yeah. The, um, but, uh, the Honours degree is... But by that time, after boarding school, and you, did you feel strange from, estranged from your, uh, let's say, the environment you came from? By that time, oh, by that time Vengere and uh, how, Changwena. How, how, how much uh, affinity did you have by that time with, with the milieu you came from? Frankly, none at all. I had seen that it was it, that there was no place for me in the rough and tumble of um, uh, of uh, Rosape. That actually the decisions are made here in the then Salisbury and that they are made by people who actually are up there. And that I was going to be one of those up there who would make the those decisions. Who, yeah. <laughs> yeah, would make those decisions. Look, it, it's like even now, for instance, when people ask me, um, uh, for instance, that why don't you write in Shona so that more people, more of my people can read my books, mm -hmm. I always simply say, look, the masses cannot change anything because they are not in the Politburo, they are not in the Central Committee, they are not in government. They actually, they may elect people, but they are not the ones who make the decisions. And, and so my books, you address yourself I address people, myself to people. those people, hopefully intelligent, <laughs> so that when they read my books, they will see, What's going on? well, what one of themselves thinks.